All I remember is my dad working most of the time, but he had to be gone a lot. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. Raised in a family of seven children, so there was never any quiet around our house. Everyone had their assigned duties and chores around the house, and my mother was really kind of the organizer of that because she ran the household, and I think that taught us all a lot of discipline growing up. We didn't have a lot of luxuries, but uh, I think you learn uh, caring, you learn how to share. To make ends meet, Jim's father put in long hours as a machinist. Since he was a, such a hard-working, honest man, one thing you did is you learned to tell the truth. The worst thing you could do in our family growing up was not tell the truth. I started uh, with jobs at a very uh, early age to help the family, and then if I needed something, then I could help provide for myself. And most of the time, I had two jobs working at a filling station, uh, working at a grocery store, which kind of gave me my first uh, inkling into the soft drink business. But I do remember spending a lot of time with my dad in terms of sports. He was a very uh, sports-minded person, believed in athletics and competition. Basketball became my passion early on. I couldn't wait every day to get through with what I had to do and to get through with whatever job I had to go down to the gym. I was only about 5'9 or 5'10 when I was going from junior high to high school. Coach Davis, every time he saw me, wherever I was, that Turner, you can never play for me. You're too short. You're never going to make it. You'll never be able to play high school varsity basketball or college basketball. I practiced constantly, just having that dream, having that goal. I learned later on that he was just doing that to push me to be the best that I could. The game that I saw was the last game that Jimmy played. Uh, he was a midterm graduate. We were playing for the city championship, and the game was tied. I saw quickness. I saw a lot of drive. They threw the ball into me, and I just turned around and threw it half court. And we won the game, and I'll always remember that. Jim won his scholarship to go to college. No one in our family had ever gone to college. I just felt a, a sense of pride. Success is different things to different people, but uh, to me, being able to do what you want to do every day and having somebody to share that with, that's what the American dream is.